A year ago, when I started to think what to do with this capstone project, I had three goals in my mind. Uh, it didn't need to be revolutionary, but something fresh. It need to be useful not just for me, but for others too. And the third and most important one was that it had to actually work. So today I'm excited to uh, work with you uh, that how I have uh, met with these goals uh, with my automated conveyor system for pill bottling. So the journey started when I accidentally went to RPMED pharmaceutical company located in uh, Abovian uh, city to see the pill counter and uh, because I needed, to, uh, I needed one. And uh, in that time, we, uh, we, I discussed with uh, uh, working staff and uh, with the CEO what problems uh, did they have. Uh, uh, and we figured out that the, conver uh, the, uh, the pill counter that they had is pretty old and the people are working with this pill counter because it is, as you can see, the semi-automated pill counter. That's the problem here. Uh, and uh, they asked me to somehow, can we somehow solve this problem, the semi-automation to automation? because a person standing in front of the pill counter manually positioning and re replacing the bottles when it is filled. So, uh, and we have a problem here because it is too old and it had two filling nozzles when the first one is filling and it changes to the direction to the other one, they can just uh, replace the first one so uh, there is nothing stopped there. So, and this makes uh, uncomfortable for the automation system because today's the pill counters with these automation systems are, uh, are having the one nozzle only. Thus, uh, after the discussions, we, uh, I could understand and see what's going on here. And we had this pill counter there and we want something this, the pill counter with automated system for pill bottling. And I also had some requirements to give, the, to, to give them a spree, uh, free spaces there, uh, the both sides of the conveyor, that the workers do the uh, beforehand works and after work uh, works, uh, after the bottling uh, the pills. Considering all these requirements uh, uh, and understanding all the, all the, all the problems that they had, I, I, de I designed the uh, final, pro I designed the automated conveyor system, which you can see, this is the final view of the system, which is designed in SolidWorks environment. And uh, it is in the real uh, life, uh, so it has the real life dimensions and the material are uh, also, material is the real. Uh, and this is the dimensions. It has 150 centimeters long and 40 centimeters width, and it has about 90 centimeters height, which can be changed. Uh, and I will I will speak about it later. So let's break down some uh, essential components of this automated conveyor system. The first one is the conveyor itself. Uh, the support structure, which holds the conveyor conveyor on it and the triple, triple positioning system here, uh, which is the main component for the automation. The conveyor itself, itself consists of conveyor belt chain, the adjustable brackets, a motor and speed reducer, and the, the gear structure, which we cannot see here because it is implemented inside of the conveyor. And uh, I use the plas plastic chain belt for this pharmaceutical bottles uh, because it offers multiple benefits. First of all, it is durable and it is ideal for handling the peeled bottles as we have an experience with uh, these pharmaceutical bottles. And it has a smooth operation for replacement, uh, so no vibration, no displacement. And it is easy to customize for, different, for the bottles with different sizes, so it is easy to handle with. The adjustable brackets are giving the flexibility in positioning the center onto the conveyor belt. So the, we, we, we are sure that the bottles are standing uh, exactly on the middle of the conveyor belt. And it is also you can uh, manually uh, change the space between the brackets so for the different bottles. This uh, DC gear motor with these uh, specifications is, uh, was chosen uh, because of the calculations I had in my uh, paper 
and I considered uh, all the frictions and all the load that is going uh, that the motor is going to handle. So th with these specifications, it is enough for this application to uh, move the, to move the belt uh, with 0 0.225 meter per second uh, velocity. And also the gear structure with its, uh, with its bearings, the rollers, ha we have the, uh, two rollers, uh, both sides of the conveyor, and uh, one roller is connected directly to the motor to rotate uh, the uh, ch chain and to uh, ensure the, uh, the transmission of the bottles. The support structure is uh, uh, chosen and is uh, giving the uh, reinforcement and steady uh, to, to be a steady during the uh, operation and we I used the 90 degrees angle surface brackets to connect uh, the T-slotted framing which has 3.8 centimeters height and width and I use this specific type of framing because uh, first of all it is very durable and second of all it is easy to attach thing on it without screwing anything. So I can attach parts on it very uh, easily. And also the heavy duty leveling mounts uh, the, uh, here the for the four legs so we can leverage the height of the uh, conveyor system within four centimeters. And the uh, triple positioning cylinder system, which uh, I already said is the main part for the automation, which is attached on the uh, framing part. And it has three pneumatic cylinders, we, uh, which are these ones. And they are uh, responsible for positioning and, uh, uh, and uh, controlling the movement of, of the bottles. And one electrical linear actuator, which you can see here with its um, uh, custom made a 3D printed part on it. So I call them stage gates. So why do we need that? So, uh, so as, as I to 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 told, the uh, pill counter had two nozzles and it is counting and uh, drop, uh, dropping the pills continuously. So there is nothing to stop, uh, to stop the flow of the pills. So I use this electrical linear actuator to close the uh, mouths of the pill uh, of the nozzles uh, to prevent the flow of the pills when the bottles are moving when we when we are replacing the bottles. So when the bottles are uh, standing exactly the uh, below of the nozzles, I j I can open them and the pills will flow into the uh, uh, into the bottles. And this is the prototype that uh, uh, prototype uh, for the triple positioning system. And uh, let's understand what what I used for this uh, prototype. Uh, first of all, I uh, instead of using three pneumatic cylinders, I used four of them. Uh, I used four pneumatic cylinders and two solenoid valves. So solenoid valves are the controllers, let's say the controllers of the, for the uh, pneumatic cylinders. And the first one is connected to two of the cylinders and the other to other two uh, cylinders. And uh, I use the air pressure regulator to, uh, to uh, regulate the pressure we had in the laboratory because it, it, uh, the pressure we have was 10 ATM and I need to drop it down to one ATM because one ATM is uh, enough for the cylinders to move the pistons freely. I use the rechargeable lithium battery to turn on the TT motor uh, and also I use the timer, uh, which is this one, as you can see. The timer is used here, uh, 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 is used here instead of the counter of, or, of the pill counter. So in real life, I will get a signal from the counter that the count is this much, so it is now you can uh, it is now you can change to replace the bottle. So I use the timer instead of the counter. So it's basically the counter. It's delay relay, and it has two timers on it. So when the timer one is turned on and it is counting, the signal uh, from uh, from this uh, from the timer goes to the one of the valves, and two of the cylinders are moving. The pistons are moving. When it is connecting to the se second one, uh, the first one is turned on and the second valve is activated and it controls the, uh, the other two cylinders. 
And here are the working principle by step by step. So uh, this is the stage when uh, the motor is uh, turned on and now the uh, bottles is moving from right to left. So we have a piston here, as you can see here, uh, that prevents the um, movement of the bottle. So with these two bottles, I, posi I am positioning these upcoming two bottles, which, is am which are empty, and the stage gates are closed because now it is in a mov movement. So I close the stage gate, uh, close the mouths of the uh, nozzles. So when it is ready and it is positioned exactly below of the nozzles, I open this uh, I open piston and open the stage gates and fix them, fix these two bottles with other two pneumatic cylinders, as you can see here. Here. So when it is fixed, uh, the, uh, the first two bottles are ready to go. And uh, the same thing is uh, going to be for other two bottles. When it is uh, already filled, these two bottles, uh, I close the stage and I, uh, I uh, move the pistons back to, uh, to not prevent the movement until here. So, and after that, with these two filled, these two are already filled bottles. With these two already filled bottles, I uh, posi I'm positioning the upcoming two bottles and the loop is uh, this. So this is the repeating process until we have the uh, anything done and the, uh, we don't get any signal from the counter. And this is the video that showcases how it works, the demonstration. So yeah, now I get the signal from the counter. I position these two bottles here. Now the f it is filling the pills. Now we close the mouths of the nozzles when these two are positioned. So I open it and there are two is filling. Thank you very much. We can now take questions from the committee members. Um, please just use the microphone. Uh, we have actually a question from both of us. Are you stopping the conveyor belt when the no. uh, bottles are positioned? No, no, it's no, no. It is constantly, constantly moving. Constantly yeah, moving. Constantly moving. Uh, will it not result in excessive uh, wear of the conveyor belt? Uh, okay, I, I trust this uh, the way that this uh, constantly moving belt because I had the preventing preventing pistons here, so I control the p uh, control the movement of the uh, uh, of these uh, bottles with the pistons. And the the peels and the bottle itself, bottles itself uh, is not. Uh, it doesn't have very uh, very much uh, weight, so it will not uh, cause any problems to the motor. And just because uh, the calculation shows that uh, uh, with uh, I used four times, uh, two point five times higher. Uh, 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 good motor with good specifications uh, for this project. In case of there are a lot of and, and there are a lot of and the conveyor is uh, longer than I expected. So it is not 1.5 meters. It is three three meters, mm -hmm. and there were a lot of weight on it. So I, uh, it, the motor can handle that also. What about power consumption? What? What about power consumption? Your conveyor belt is constantly moving and consuming power. Yeah, the power is used only for the motor. 
Uh, so as I said, it is n not much weight uh, on the uh, on the motor. So, and the uh, other thing that I use is just the air pressure for the pistons and this t the the counter that uh, the counter signal that I get from the pill counter. Um, Thank you for the presentation. Um, I'm just curious if you have considered an al alternative version of the old time rolling belt just to do a synchronized, because you have everything at your hand. You can just synchronize the process of your belt rolling forward with a simple bottle detector with any kind of sensor so that it brings your bottle right at the place, stops it there, you open up, close it down, moves to the next bottle, and so on. So did you consider that? And what are the pros and cons for your version versus the synchronized process? Yeah, every, uh, I, uh, I had some alternatives in my mind. So the first thing is that when I don't want to move continuously the belt, so I need the places to put the, uh, the bottles. So they are not going forward and back uh, during the movement of the uh, belt. So when is when it is uh, when so you you have to know the exact uh, exact place of the bottle, and you can do it with sensors. But it, it is more it was more convenient uh, for me to uh, to know beforehand that I will control with these two already filled bottle. Uh, uh, bottles. I will uh, position these two, and I know before uh, beforehand. But with the sensor, uh, it varies between. Uh, with the sensor, it was difficult because the, the sizes of the bottles are uh, varying, and with sensor uh, uh, getting signal from the uh, getting signal from the sensor and saying that piston now uh, it is time to piston to stop the bottle for the filling. It was difficult for me because uh, it was a required precision, first of all, uh, to not hit the bottle and to not uh, move it to the other place. So that's why I used this, uh, this simple, more simpler uh, mechanism for the positioning system. Thank you very much. Uh, in the beginning, I probably missed it. In the beginning, you described the semi-automated uh, system yeah. that was at the pill bottling plant and then you described your system, it seems like you still have to manually feed the system with the bottles, correct? Yeah. So that's, yeah. What, what specifically did you, you know, do more than the, the, the semi-automated process? The semi-automated process uh, is, uh, referred, uh, was referred to the, uh, to the uh, uh, pill bottling process. So in my scope, it was to uh, automate the pill bottling process. So the replacement of the bottles and positioning the bottles. Uh, I uh, created some layouts. I made, made some layouts and I had some drawings that what is going to be afterwards and beforehand. But it was uh, the time I had time considerations and it was uh, I, I couldn't just do that part because it is it is the same, uh, let's say, the same systems with different systems like this three times. So it, I had time issues, so that's why I didn't cover that part. So yeah, mine's a follow-up, maybe comment to the last two questions. But uh, the, I guess the comment, or maybe a question too, the comment I want to make is maybe even a video from the beginning, like the sort of before uh, versus after, might be helpful for the audience to appreciate exactly what do we mean by semi-automated, what is automated, what is still manual. Uh, and then if I understood correctly, you defined your task at replacing or improving or creating the automated part but leaving the manual intact. Is that what I understood correctly yeah. in the last question? I mean, did it occur to you not, I mean, that's wonderful, that's great. Did it occur to you that it might be worth, I don't know, automating the system I and mean, would that be a bigger challenge i mean yeah it's, it's a bigger challenge in some sense but i imagine there might be some um i don't know value synergies or or uh possibilities maybe it's interesting future work uh yeah. for someone else but I'm, I'm curious what the 
like from the, the, the business side, is this uh, an improvement? Is it, is it a, 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 a replacement for something that exists that is a proof of concept? Maybe just can you explain a little bit what the sort of business value might be for this company or any company? So yeah, actually the three three people were working on this pill counter when the so the automate automated part part that they uh, had is just the pill, counting the pills. The machine is counting the pills. So this is the middle part of the automation side. The first first part of uh, first part that, that that can be considered in the future works is that uh, the bottles placing to this place. So basically, a person standing the first uh, first place, he uh, some, uh, writes something on the bottle and place on the conveyor system. And after the p bottles are filled, so the other uh, the other mechanisms are here. It's just uh, I don't know its English name. Dasga. How can I say Dasga? It's uh, something that uh, with uh, with pressure it closes the mouth of the uh, of the bottle. So and that's that's uh, that's the other part of the automation. So I had to automate this process, but it was, uh, I, as I said, it was time consi considering because uh, I I had the layouts, but the 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 problem to solve just the replacement and the movement of the bottle. So, yeah, it can be considered in future works.